All right, guys, this is season two, episode two of the Lexus Off-Road Racing season that, uh, that we had in 2010, so let's get started. Let's go ahead and get into the, our third race of 2010, which is the 2010 score Baja 500. Here's the map, um, you know, about 438 miles. Uh, it's always harder on the loop. This will be our second uh, time running the Baja 500. Here's my co-driver Bob getting our lights and stuff dialed in the night before. This is um, just the day before the race. We we're doing a little pre-running. You can see all the water that went through, just washed away roads. If you didn't do your homework on pre-running, you're, you're in trouble. So uh, a lot of things that could uh, end your day, but a uh, little bit of contingency photos and things like that. So yeah, we're all dialed in and uh, ready to go through contingency. Um, as you can see, there's just, there's always a ton of people during the Bot 500, especially going through tech and all that. And uh, uh, you know, we thought everything was dialed in, um, but I'll get into that in a second. You can see all the people, uh, truck was super cl uh, clean and ready to go. Uh, but uh, here's a cool shot of uh, Art, uh, Eugenio, and myself. You know, Art's been a huge uh, help over the years getting just awesome photos of us and the team. And uh, you can see here going through the Red Bull banner. Uh, just so much fun. I love doing uh, contingency, meeting all the fans, and just, uh, yeah, just getting ready for race day. Uh, getting up here ready for tech. Uh, truck obviously passed, uh, no problem and uh, we're just getting through but I wanted to talk about this next shot which is Tim Casey in the 861 you can see that truck he's our, our, our one of our main competitors in the class and he's just a badass when it comes to I mean that's Fouts's old truck which is super dialed in and uh, you know he's he's just super hard to beat every single time cool shot of, a, of an overhead bird's eye view of contingency uh, you can just see all the people at the Bob 500 all right, let's get into race day. Um, always a fun day. And, uh, you know, this is us, uh, I think, uh, hitting the first Red Bull jump. This is about an 80 mile an hour hit. The second shot right here, as I landed, I looked over at my, my co-driver, Bob, and I go, I think we're in trouble. And you know, I redid the suspension, but man, uh, we, were, we were having a hard time. It was way too stiff. I don't know what the heck happened. I had King do some adjustments for me. I thought we were good and the compression was way too tight to the point where I was like really feeling it. I was I was getting fatigued really quickly. I'm like, this is gonna be a long race. So we ended up pulling over, I'll probably race mile 100 or so into one of our pits and tried to open up compression and let it breathe a little bit, which helped, but at that point we were already a little bit behind and doing our, our, our best to, to catch catch up. Um, we're running a good race, but it was just, it was a challenge. I mean, just, we just couldn't, you know, that, that unfortunate situation, not getting the truck super dialed in and, and taking a little bit of a guess on tuning uh, hurt us. We ended up getting second place. Couldn't get t Tim Casey, he actually beat us by I think 20 minutes. Um, but you know what, great on points. We had two firsts, and now a second place at the Bob 500. So uh, for the championship, we were looking really good. So here we are. I think we're talking to one of the, the media here, and uh, just trying to, you know, it, it was been a, it was a long race. This is the morning. Um, you can see Bob and I are pretty tired. Uh, still excited because you never. It's just this Bob 500 is always so much fun, but we were just we were hammered. There's no question about it. It, it took a toll on us, and that suspension really really made it tough to get through because it just was way too tight so my mistake on that end of it but uh there's your uh a little bit of a fake smile going yeah i'm ready to go to sleep now <laughs> but uh you know it was all good i felt uh felt like we did our job and uh we were leading points at this point uh going into the championship there's ted moncure giving us a little congrats uh and uh we're heading back to to the hotel jumped out of the truck I'm hammered. I'm just like, I need to go to the restroom, but I didn't want to wait to go to the restroom. So I decided, you know, I'm just going to go right here in the parking lot. And this is where the catheter comes into play. You just go to the bathroom and it comes right out your shoe. That's the thing works pretty good. 
Bob's like, really? He, he always gave me that look when, when he didn't quite approve on some of the things I did, but uh, that, was, uh, that was our relationship. We, uh, he, he's an awesome co-driver. Anyway, got the second place. Now I'm doing a little bit of media stuff, which was fun um, until our next race. So yeah, I got to uh, I got invited to go down to uh, Burbank and be on Adam Carolla's show. I was a huge fan of Adam Carolla back in the uh, the Level Line days in uh, KROQ 106.7. If you grew up in Southern California, you'd remember that uh, that uh, show they had on the radio. But uh, yeah, it was really cool to show Adam the truck. Well, here we are in front of Joe Calls. Uh, off road Lexus uh, 530. Did I get that? 570. Right? 570, 570 LX. Alex yeah. 570. 5.7 liter. I think I invented a new Ferrari <laughs> to test drive. And uh, it looks real nice. Uh, again, you say uh, there's a lot of, lot, most of the thing is stock, although yeah. obviously the suspension, the wheels. So after uh, doing the Adam Crow thing, I also got to shoot a commercial. It was a national spot for the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, which I thought was pretty cool. As a pro driver, you've got to be on your game. And I just felt like something's just not right. I was really wiped out. They found I had Hodgkin's lymphoma. After talking to the doctor, my wife and I looked at each other and go, we're out of here. No sympathy. I didn't have that connection. As soon as I got on the phone with the gentleman from the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, he knew what I was going through. They not only do traditional therapy, but a lot of other things that balance the chemotherapy or radiation. And it's just like, this is what I'm looking for. Everyone just got a smile. They're just like, hey, nice to have you. My doctor, she's like two turns ahead, like I am on a racetrack. You know, it's like, cool. Hope is alive at cancer. Anyway, that was uh, pretty cool to, to do that and got to spend some time at the different hospitals talking to patients and, you know, just giving them hope, uh, trying to beat cancer. Did the Relay for Life. Uh, there's a cool shot of us there, but uh, yeah, just different stuff um, over 2010. Here I am trying to get ready for uh, the first pitch at the Padre game, which I'm not a very good baseball player, but that was cool. Now it's a score prim 300. This is our fourth race uh, going into the season. We decided to put 37-inch uh, tires, um, which made a huge difference uh, in this truck. And you can see here I'm testing them for the first time. Yeah, I didn't have a lot of test time because uh, I hurt my knee really bad, and I'll talk about that in a second. But uh, I was really stoked on these new tires. So yeah, this is a crazy race. I had to race um, with 20 stitches in my kneecap. I couldn't even bend my knee and it was really not easy, but I'm like, I gotta do it. We're so close to the championship. So that's what I did. Here's a little in-car footage. This is the first, just the first 20 miles out. Uh, it's early in the morning, you see the sun's in our eyes. Uh, this is just a super rough race. Um, you know, we just we wanted to do a good job and uh, we just tried to run as clean as we could. It's an easy race to make a mistake and break your truck, uh, but uh, it went pretty well. Yeah, I mean, I instantly noticed uh, having those 37 uh, inch BFGs over the 35s that we, uh, we took off. Uh, just ate up those big holes so much better, a lot more, uh, just less fatigue, and uh, just a little bit quicker through the whoops. Uh, you can see, I think this is what Dudley uh, here, who broke down in our, in our class, but uh, yeah, you know, it was all about just surviving this race and getting the points. Uh, obviously, we want to win, but it was just, it was all about just you know, keeping the truck together. So here's our pit. Uh, you know, we we actually did really well in the race. I think we had about an hour on second. Uh, so we pulled into the pit. Kind of took our time, as you can see. But uh, yeah, the truck was running good. Come on, no more sandwiches. Let's go. Come Let's on. go. <laughs> Get out want some breakfast. Get out window here. wipers on. Don't let no. Yeah. 
All right, so we just got our another first place um, at Prim. That makes uh, what uh, three for for 2010 so far. Um, this Bob at 100 by one, but uh, you know, almost a perfect season. And uh, gosh, it was it was just awesome to get that uh, that first place win going into the Bob 1000. <laughs> Okay, I'm here with uh, Joe Bacall, uh, car number E79. Once again, some of these cars are the only vehicles in class, and some have got three, four, and five. These are the limited limited classes. This guy has been winning races for the last uh, year, and uh, you're doing it for cancer victims. You're a survivor, and you're a survivor here at the Prem 300. Welcome back, Joe. Thanks, you know, it was, uh, you know, I'm working here. I'm getting on the crutches for the last bit. I'm getting on the truck without my crutches, but it was fun. It was, uh, it was an awesome race. I mean, the truck was phenomenal. Guy's brother did an awesome job for him with the truck. BMG, we just put 37 inch projects on it for the first time. I put the test last week because I got hurt. Um, change of front spring rate. I mean, the King Shocks, the New Kinship Center America, that's where I was treated for Hodgkin's lymphoma. Awesome place, you know. Lexus, I have to thank Factory Lexus for backing me on this, and all my other sponsors. I mean, geez, it's been uh, it's been a good year, you know. I think we're uh, pretty close to wrapping the championship up at this point. I think we just got to show up in the thousand, if I'm not mistaken. But that's that's the first time for Lexus, which is a pretty darn cool thing. So I'm pretty excited. Thanks to Salvation Score, all the guys out there. That was a uh, it was a fun race. I really enjoyed myself. The truck was just sweet. Thanks. Okay, once again, ladies and gentlemen, stock. Joe McCall. Welcome back, Joe. All right, guys. Let's take that win. And now uh, let's see if we can get another one down at the bottom of Bowser. This is the Peninsula Run. And this was a really demanding, crazy race. I mean, just ups and downs. Check out Season 2, Episode 3. This is the next video uh, of the series that I'm putting out. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, ring that bell. And uh, we'll get you as many as we can as soon as I can. Thanks a lot.